Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to crochet these mittens. Because this project is very small, you can finish it in one day, but if you want, you can take your time. One day a mitten, so two days in total. The structure is top down, so we begin from the top here and work our way down so we can make sure this fits us. And then we're gonna make a hole here for the thumb later, and we continue our way down. So we can make sure it fits us to here. We do the ribbing next. And the last thing is the thumb. I'm using this 8 ply yarn that calls for a 4mm crochet hook. You'll also be needing some scissors, a yarn needle, and some stitch markers. By the way, as you can see, my hands are pretty small. If you want to change the size, if you want to make it bigger, the easiest way is to Use a thicker yarn and a bigger hook, that way you don't have to change the pattern. You can pretty easily work out how many rounds you need to do to fit your hand this way, but the width, like I said before, if you want it to be bigger or smaller, you just use a thicker or a thinner yarn. With the 8 ply yarn and 4mm crochet hook, the width of my glove is about 9 centimeters. So if you think 9 centimeters is too small for your hand, you just use a thicker yarn. So we're going to begin with the magic loop. There are many ways to make a loop. You can use the way you know. I'm showing you the one I often use. So I'm going to make a small loop. And insert my hook. Pull this yarn through. Then yarn over and pull through the one on the hook. And I've got my magic loop. As you can see, I already chained one here using this method. So I'm going to chain one more, so two in total. Okay, I've got a chain two here. This one does not count as a stitch. So in this loop, we're going to work eight double crochets. To make a double crochet, yarn over first, insert your hook, in this ring and pull up a loop. Now you should have three loops on your hook. Then you want to yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over again, pull through two. If you're a beginner, mark this first double crochet. That's one. We're going to keep making double crochets. Yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is number three. Yarn over, insert hook, pull through two, pull through two. Number four, yarn over, insert hook, up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Five. We're going to make three more. And number eight. So you count from the stitch marker one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight double crochets. And then you see this end here. You're going to pull it to close this loop. Pull it tight. Now we have a little circle here. We're going to join 
to the marked stitch, which is the first double crochet. Um, so I'm going to take off the stitch marker and I'm going to insert my hook in the two loops, in the top two loops. over pull it through the two loops and then pull it through the loop on the hook to make a slip stitch so this is round one we have eight stitches to begin the next round we're going to chain two and this does not count as a stitch in the first double crochet here this one we're going to work two double crochets. So insert in both of the top two loops and make your first double crochet. And you want to mark this stitch again. And work one more in the same stitch. In the next stitch, do the same thing, work two double crochets. So one, and two. Next stitch, two double crochets again. So go ahead and work like this, work two double crochets in each stitch i'll see you at the end of this round in the last stitch two double crochets again If you're not sure which one is the last stitch, you can count your stitches. We should have 16 stitches for this round. So I'm counting from the last stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 16 stitches to the stitch marker. And then just like before, we're going to join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook. Pull yarn through and pull it through the loop on the hook. So the next round is the last increase round. I'm going to chain two again. In the first stitch, we're going to work one double crochet. And then mark this stitch. In the next stitch, we are going to work two double crochets. So the second one in the same stitch. And then in the next stitch, one double crochet. Next stitch, two double crochets. So we're just going to alternate between one double crochet in the first stitch, two in the next, one in the next, and two in the next. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep doing that all the way around. 
You should end this round with two double crochets in the last stitch. And then for this round, you should have 24 stitches. 5, 10, 15, 20, 24. So I have 24 stitches. And then join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. So these are the first three rounds. From the next round, we're going to do the same thing. Chain two to begin your round. From the first double crochet, work one double crochet in each stitch. Mark your first stitch. One double in the next stitch. And one double in the next stitch. So one in each stitch all the way around to the very last stitch. Work one double crochet in it and then join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. Chain two again, begin your next round. And from this round, you should always have 24 double crochets for each round. Finish your last double crochet and then slip stitch in this marked stitch. And that's how you complete a round. And then you chain two again. From the first stitch, one double crochet in each stitch. And then just keep repeating round four here. So work like this for another six rounds. So you should have 10 rounds in total. Okay, so now I'm at round 10. You want to put it on and make sure it reaches your thumb here because in the next round we're going to create a thumb hole here. So slip stitch to the first stitch and now you need your stitch markers and you're going to mark the center three stitches of this round. Your center stitch is gonna be an even number because we have an even number of stitches for this round. We have 24 stitches, so you would have two center stitches at least. That's one, two. So I'm going to find the center two stitches of this round first. So this is the beginning of the round. My center stitch is going to be somewhere here. So I'm just going to find those two first. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And these two are the two center stitches. But you're just going to include one more stitch to the left or to the right. I'm going to do the left one. And then, so these three stitches, I'm going to mark the first and the third. Like that. And then I'm going to begin my next round, work one double crochet in each stitch to the first stitch marker. So work your way to the first stitch marker. One, two, three. I'm going to chain six, 
make these chains loosely. One, two, three, four, five, six, and skip these three stitches. Directly work a double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. You want to make sure you hold your loop like this. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then from the next stitch, work one double crochet in each stitch. Slip stitch to join to the first stitch. So I'm gonna finish this round, begin my next round. I'll see you around here, just before the chains. So you work one double crochet in each stitch. And add these chains here. When you insert your hook, you're going to try to insert in the top two loops and then make one double crochet in each chain. If you find it too hard, you can also insert in the back loop, but I'm going to go under both of the top loops. This is number six. And then from the first double crochet here, make one double crochet in each stitch. So you're going to go ahead and finish this round with one double crochet in each stitch. And then you're going to do two more rounds like that. One double in each stitch. So now we have three rounds in total after the thumb hole. Join to the first stitch. And now we're going to work the ribbing directly from here. As you can see, this is a folded ribbing. So I'm going to make it double my actual ribbing thickness. I'm going to chain 15. And then find the second chain from the hook. One, two. Turn your work, find the back loop of this chain. Which is this one. And then you insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. To make a single crochet. And then in the back loop of the next chain here, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. A second single crochet. So you're going to keep doing this, work one single crochet in the back loop of each chain. So work your single crochets all the way to the last chain, the back loop of it, and make a single crochet. You should have 14 single crochets for this row. And now we're going to slip stitch to the next stitch. This is the chain two. That's the first stitch we slip stitched in. And this is the second stitch of the round. You're going to slip stitch in this stitch. And then you're going to do it again in the next stitch. Work a slip stitch. And then turn your work. Skip two chains. One, two. These are the slip stitches. And the very next one, in the third one, which is the first single crochet. You're going to insert your hook in the back loop only. So as you can see, we've got two top loops. 
you're going to insert in the back one only and make a single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch one more single crochet next back loop one single crochet so continue working like this to the end of the row so this is the last stitch work a single crochet here and you should have 14 single crochets again and to begin the next row from this end chain one and turn from the first single crochet which is this one insert your hook in the back loop and a single crochet work one single crochet in the back loop of each stitch last single crochet again if you're not sure which is the last stitch you just count your stitches you should have 14 stitches this is the first one 5 10 and 14 you should have 14 stitches for each row and then we need to find the next stitch of this round as you can see this stitch is already worked into the next stitch is this one so you're gonna slip stitch in that stitch and then do it again in the next stitch slip stitch again so every time you come to this end you slip stitch in the next stitch and in the next stitch again and then you turn your work skip two chains in the third one back loop work a single crochet and then one single crochet in each stitch and when you work to the end chain one and turn your work and then from the first single crochet here back loop one single in each stitch all the way to the end make sure you don't miss any stitches and then you slip stitch in the next stitch and then slip stitch in the next stitch again turn your work skip two chains and then from the third one back loop one single crochet in each stitch so it's just a repeat of row two and row three so you're going to continue working around this edge here i'll see you at the last stitch and then i'll show you how to join your last row to this first one so i've single crocheted all the way back i'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch and then in the next stitch again which is the last stitch of this round so i'm going to slip stitch in that stitch and turn and work one last row of single crochets and next we're going to join the seams i have 26 rows by the way if you want to count yours i'm going to join from this side because when you fold this over this side is going to be the wrong side so we're joining from the wrong side so i want to insert my hook on this side i'm going to insert under both loops of the stitch and when i insert on the other side i'm going to insert in the back loop only so line your stitches up insert my hook from the first stitch and on this side insert in both loops find the first stitch on the other edge first stitch insert in back loop only and make a slip stitch so just pull up a loop and pull it through all the loops next stitch both loops next stitch on the other side back loop and slip stitch next stitch both loops next stitch on the other side back loop only and slip stitch 
So continue joining your stitches. Second last stitch and the last stitch. The last one's gonna be a little tricky, but you just take your time and slip stitch, chain one, cut this yarn and pull this through. And then you're gonna use your yarn needle to fasten it off. So I'm just gonna hide it behind these loops here. And that should do. I'm just gonna cut it. And it looks like this. The last thing to do is the thumb. We're gonna do this from the right side of the glove. I'm gonna attach my yarn to the middle stitch of these three stitches. So just insert my hook and pull it through and just tie a knot. And then we're going to chain two, insert your hook in this stitch, pull up a loop and chain two. Again, this does not count as a stitch. So in the same stitch, you work the first double crochet. I'm carrying this tail, by the way, to work it into my stitch so I don't have to fasten it off later. I'm going to mark this first stitch. And then in the next stitch, which is marked, make a double crochet again. So to carry the yarn, you just hold it like this, treat it as a part of the stitch, and then you insert your hook and make your double crochet. If you don't know how to do that, it's okay. You can fasten it off later. So our next stitch is this horizontal double crochet. In order to avoid creating spaces around the corners, I'm going to work a double crochet three together. Um, so the three double crochets is going to be here, here, and here. But I'm going to work all three of them as one stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook in this corner here. Um, yarn over first and insert in the corner. Yarn over pull up a loop just like you would a double crochet. And then yarn over pull through two loops leaving two loops on your hook and then yarn over again move on to the center of this horizontal double crochet insert your hook pull up a loop and yarn over pull through two leaving three loops on your hook in the next stitch I'm going to try to pick up more loops here. So instead of inserting here, which will pull this hole even bigger, I'm going to insert a bit lower here between these two stitches. Yarn over, pull through two. Now you should have four loops on your hook. And then to make them into one stitch, you yarn over and pull through all four of them like that and now you can see we don't have any obvious space here next if you remember we have a chain of six here we worked one double crochet in each of them we're just going to work one double crochet in each of them again that's the first one two And 
and six. Last one here. And then you turn your work like this again. Our next stitch is this horizontal double crochet, just like on the other side. But for this side, we don't have a big space here. So I'm going to work my double crochet three together in here, here, and here. So yarn over, insert your hook on the edge of this horizontal double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert in the next stitch, which is also on the edge of this horizontal double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two again. And then the next you're going to insert in this corner. Next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook in this stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. With four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all. If this bit is a little fast for you, you just um, slow down the video. And then we're going to work our last stitch in this marked stitch. So work one, double crochet in that stitch. And we should have 11 stitches for this round one three on this side six on this side and one for each side here so 11 stitches in total then i'm gonna slip stitch in this marked stitch which is the first stitch and chain two does not count as the first stitch in the same first stitch make your First double crochet. So for the next two rounds, you're going to work one double crochet in each stitch, just like before, and you would have 11 stitches for each round. After this first round, you're going to do three rounds, not two, three rounds of double crochets, one double crochet in each stitch. And then after those four rounds, you're going to do one last round to close off the top. So later when I show you how to do the thumb, you're going to see me missing one round here. You're just going to ignore that. I did two rounds. You do three rounds here. Finish your last round and fasten off as how I'll show you. So this is the last round. Chain two first. And then this might be the trickiest part of this glove because um, we're going to decrease here but the round is very small so you just take your time when you do this so i'm going to first work the first five stitches together into one stitch this is the chain two that's the first stitch i'm going to yarn over and insert my hook in the first stitch pull up a loop just like before, then I'm going to yarn over and pull through two once. In the next stitch, do the same, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through the first two. And third stitch, yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through the first two. So that's one, two, three, two more stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, last one, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now you should have six loops on your hook, and then you yarn over and pull through all of them. And that is your first stitch. Place a stitch marker here. And then work one double crochet in the next stitch. And then we have five stitches left. One, two, three, four, five. Before the chain two. 
So we're going to work these five stitches into one stitch again. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Do the same in the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through two. That's the second stitch. Third stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through two. Number four. Pull up a loop. Pull through two. And the last one. Turn over. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then with six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all. And then you want to slip stitch to this marked stitch, which is the first stitch. Like I said, this is the trickiest part. So it's okay if you don't get it the first time. Make a slip stitch. Chain one. Cut this yarn and pull through and then you're going to fasten this tail off so I'm going to go through all the top loops here before I fasten it off to the wrong side like that and then through the center to the wrong side Bring the thumb to the wrong side and fasten off. So this is one. Repeat the same steps for the other one. Then you get yourself a pair of mittens.